Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in the last video, we looked at how to query data, how to get data out of our database. And that's going to be important for this next step that we want to do. What we want to do now is since we're, we're dealing with this user table where we're creating users for our website that register. So um, we'll have the username and the email and we can add stuff to our user database table at a later time if we want to. But for right now, we're keeping it simple. Uh, but what we want to do is create a profile page where we would then pass an argument through the URL and we would take that argument which is going to be the username of the profile that we're viewing and then we're going to use that argument to query the database to get a, the specific user that matches that username and then provide the user's data so that therefore we have one URL, one template and and that could be reused for every single user in our database. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we're going to copy everything from the index method. And we're going to change uh, the, so just have forward slash uh, profile. And in order to pass an argument, you need to wrap it in the greater or less than greater than sign. And whatever you put inside of here is going to be uh, an argument that gets appended to the args keyword um, within Flask. So this can be whatever you want to want to call it. So we could just say um, we're we're just going to say username because that's what we expect to pass in. So like I said, this is just a variable name. It could be whatever you want. And now instead of all this query stuff, we're going to go ahead and just say user, and then we'll say instead of all we want to say first right because we only want one object so that way if the user doesn't exist it's going to come back as none which is also known as null in a lot of different languages and we can say username equal and then username which is going to be passed in right here and then let's go ahead and pass that to our template so user user and now we want to go ahead and create a new template. So we're going to replace this name down here. We're going to say profile. So we'll have a template named profile, which means we need to go to our templates directory and add a profile HTML page. And now we should be able to reference the user object that we passed down. So we're going to say user username. And this is just standard HTML markup and everything. And then down here we'll say user.email. We'll put this under like H2. This is all, I mean, this isn't very pretty, but we'll work about, we're, we'll, and later on in the tutorial series, we're going to get into like bootstrap and, and using React and other stuff to try to spice up the, the UI to make it look nice. But for right now, this is all just fundamentals of Flask. All right, so that looks good. In fact, we can give it the title. We can go ahead and reference the user.username. So... Yeah, that looks good. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and restart our server, and we're going to go ahead and navigate to the profile, and then do forward slash, and then put the name of the username that you want to use to query our user database. And let's see what kind of result we get back. Oh, that was silly of me. I actually forgot to rename the index since we copied and paste this needs to say profile that's what we want to call our, our function all right so now we're going to go to profile and then pass in the name uh, test 3 Sorry, this is what happens when you copy and paste. Um, so what this is saying right here is that the username is undefined. And the reason why it's undefined is because this value actually needs to be passed into the function in order to be able to get used by the function. 
So that's, that should solve the problem there. Let's restart the server. It's always good to make mistakes. You learn a lot by making mistakes. And now you can see that we were able to pass in an argument through the URL and this template is able to handle it, query the database, return the data, if it exists. If it doesn't, it's going to be null. So if I did that, you're going to get just empty data, right? You'd probably want to redirect if, uh, if, if users null um, or, or take some sort of action. You typically wouldn't give them a, a skeleton template that has no data, but you could um, if you wanted to. So this is um, is dynamic. This is what it's considered, you know, dynamic, dynamic content um, and reuse and stuff like that. So I thought we had a test for. Do we not have a test for? Here, let's look at our our data here. We do have test for, but he's not getting queried. Uh, that's interesting. If you look at um, the reason why that's happening, if we look at test four inside the data, it's because there's an extra space on the end, which clearly shouldn't be. I actually just removed that directly in the database, so that would work. But that's why that was. I was like, what the heck is that? But um, anyway, guys, so yeah, this is all about code reuse because what we can do is when this thing looks pretty and we have bootstrap and images and all that other stuff included, you'll have one particular profile and just plug in the data and it looks different for every single user that you you visit. For instance, if I went over to Stack Overflow and I looked at my profile page, this is obviously a template and it's not like they're duplicating the same template code for every single user. They have a very complex template that they wrote, probably just one template, maybe you know a few. It's probably a complex template, I'm sure, but it, um, it's most likely one, maybe a couple that are combined together using whatever sort of templating language that they're using. I think this is MVC, so they're probably using Razor uh, for MVC.net. And um, you can see that if I went to like a different user, uh, John Skeet, right? He's one of the best C Sharp developers. He's actually the highest rated. Uh, anyway, hold on a second. John Skeet. There he is. He's got. The highest rating of anybody on Stack Overflow, but you see his profile is very similar to mine, right? Because they just basically said, "Oh, John Skeet, probably using the URL up here or this unique ID," and then they query their database, and it comes back with all this information. So, anyway, guys, um, that's the importance of being able to pass in arguments through the URL like that, uh, through using templates and and just. Uh, dry basically don't repeat yourself as a as a common programming term that you hear you know keep things dry so that's what we're doing here by using the template all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe vote up share if you would and uh, i'll be posting all this code on github and i try to do that every time i make a new video um, usually when i do videos i'll do like three or four at a time so the code might not go up right away uh, but ultimately all this code for this website is going to be available on github through the link in the description. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.